Hello parents, my name is Mr. Shuffle and this is my assistant, Mr. Hanna, Hello. and we will be your child's teachers this year. Um, what we're going to do first is uh, Miss Sealing has graciously agreed to help us with filming today. She's going to pan around the room and give you an idea of what our classroom looks like and then I'll do a short uh, PowerPoint presentation for you. As you can see the desks are set up in columns. We are socially distant as much as we possibly can. We have totally rearranged our room this year. Moved desks, the teacher desks are on the left side. Mr. Hanna's desk is by the door, my desk is over up by the wall. All right. I don't think there's a whole lot else to show you except that I will be teaching mostly from up here, so we've got as much distance as I can possibly put between myself and the kids. Um, we will be wearing face shields or masks we're still waiting on the face shields to come in. Uh, when the students are in the building, there will be some sort of face covering. So, Mr. Hanna, if you wouldn't mind grabbing the light, please. Sure. All right, and we will begin our presentation. Is the mic in picture? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, uh, myself and Mr. Hanna will be your child's teacher this year. Your partnership for us is gonna be especially crucial this year. Um, for this presentation and the purposes, this is mainly geared towards the students who will be doing in-person learning. If you are choosing to do remote learning for your child, um, we're still working out some of the details on that, so we'll, we'll talk more when that comes up. Um, questions, concerns for any of the parents are always welcome. Um, your child will get a learning plan and my uh, email address will be on there along with my classroom phone number if you need to call me there. Email is probably the best way. Thank you for coming. Well, you're not here today. Uh, it is my desire to create and maintain an orderly and positive and cheerful classroom. We do a lot of laughing in here, but we do a lot of learning as well, okay? I expect that everyone will participate, and that includes me, <laughs> and that uh, we will have a lot of fun and learn a lot of things this year. Character education, as always, is a critical pathway at JICES. Our central pillars are honesty, integrity, respect, responsibility, and excellence. And I and Mr. Mahana will model that along with the other teachers all year long, every single day. Our class rules, basically similar to probably what you experienced last year in third grade. Um, if you're new this year, be prompt and prepared. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Respect and cooperate. Be an active participant. Follow your directions immediately. Use your two-handed tracking at all times. And if you're new, we'll go through all of that. If you're returning parents, I think you know what that looks like. Our star rules, they're to sit in a learning position, track with their finger, answer on signal, and respect others. Moving on to our next one, here we go. Please encourage your child to advocate for themselves by asking questions when they need help. Each of your children will have a please help folder at their desk. We will talk extensively about how the appropriate way to use that would look like. You should expect about 50 minutes of homework each night. Some nights will be significantly less. Others, math is usually the one that takes the longest amount of time. Please help your student be successful by providing a quiet space for them to complete their homework. I know that everybody's home life is a little bit different, but as much as you can provide them a, a safe, secure space to work, that will help a lot. Science and history are gonna look a little different, especially at the beginning of this year. We will just start with science, and later on in the year we'll build in history homeworks as well. So science will be the main focus at the beginning. But we will help the students learn keywords uh, underlining answers in packets and some, not actually highlighting but usually the red pen or underlining of some kind. Power reading. If you're returning parents you know what that looks like. If you're new um, we can talk more as the year gets started. It's, uh, the students read for three minutes each night and they read the same passage three times and record how many words they get each time. Math. You will most likely be completing a lesson a night. Um, we usually give about 20 minutes in class um, it's kind of ideal to start working and for questions and things like that. Spelling is not going to start at the beginning of the year. We will build that in later on. This is what a power reading sheet looks like. Um, most of you are probably familiar with what that looks like. Poetry and cursive, again, not going to start at the beginning of the year. We are focusing on writing and reading um, and math and we'll be doing a lot of those to catch up from the things that maybe they missed at the end of last year. Poetry and cursive will be built in later. Our grading guidelines, they haven't changed since last year. 93 to 100% is considered to be an A. 
Hello, if you are going to the Alice training at 12.30 and you have not had your picture taken, please come to the front lobby. If you are going to the Alice training and have not had your picture taken, please come to the front lobby. Well, that was fun. Okay. 86 to 92, good work. 80 to 85 is a satisfactory. That's a C. Anything below 85% is considered below mastery. And unsatisfactory, of course, anything to 69%. Recesses will look a little bit different. Uh, we're still working on how we're going to do that. They're most likely going to be staggered with one class staying in the classroom one day, another class on the playground, another class perhaps on the field, and we'll rotate those out. That's sort of the plan right now, but we'll finalize that as we get closer. I would encourage you to provide a healthy snack for your child. Um, it's a long time to go from 8 o'clock to 3.30 in the afternoon, so a long way. Absent work, uh, we do teach bell to bell and wall to wall. Uh, if your child does miss a day of school, they will miss quite a bit of material, and they will be required to turn that homework in, but they do have two days for every day that they are out. COVID-19 sanitation and our health. We'll be sanitizing the classroom throughout the day at appropriate times, lunch times, morning time before the kids come in, after the kids leave, other times. We're still finalizing our student procedures, um, how we're going to get kids into the classroom as far as what their traffic pattern is and things like that. Uh, there will be more to come as we go along. So that's pretty much the presentation for you. I apologize for the interruption, but uh, things happen. So I'm really looking forward to teaching your children this year. I know Mr. Hanna is as well, and as a fourth grade team, we're all really excited and we're happy to be back in the classroom. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the school or you can email me. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.